Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how you can add a class and remove a class using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's add some basic structure here. We need a couple of controls. So first button will be to add a class. Second button will be to remove a class. Third button will be toggle. So that we can remove and add a class at the same time. Then we'll also check if class exists using this check button. Then we'll try to add multiple classes. So I'll make it add all. And also I'll try to remove all those classes using remove all button. Let's add a class here, then that class will be controls. We need a couple of IDs. So this will be add. This will be remove. This sorry for that. This will be toggle. This will be check. this will be add all and this will be remove all now we need one more div element and we'll add all these classes to that div element so i'll give a class name of hello and inside this i will put hello world great Let's add a link to a style sheet. So it will be style.css. Also add our script.js. Let's style these elements. So first we'll select the hello class and we'll make it display flex. Align items will be center. Justify content will be center. We'll give it a height of around 100 pixel. Width will be 100 pixel. Border will be 2 pixel solid black. And margin will be auto. Let's select our controls. It will also be display as flex. Justify content will be center and the margin bottom will be around 20 pixels. Save it. Now let's open this file in the browser. So this is the output. Let's add some spacing between these button elements and increase the size of this div element. Let's make it 200 pixel and we'll select the button element and the margin left uh, will make around 10 pixels. I think that is enough. Save it. Now it's looking great. Now let's add one more class here and that will be BG. So basically we'll add this class dynamically using JavaScript and we'll change the background color to green and the font color will be white. We'll add one more class so that will be BD. So we'll just modify the border. So let's make it 5 pixels solid red great now it's time to work on the script file so just open it first of all we'll select the div so it will be document.query selector and it got a class of hello now we need to select all these button elements so that we can add event listener so let's make it add so document.query selector so it has id of add 
just copy it and paste it here make it remove make it toggle make it check make it add all make it remove all also modify it here so it will be remove it will be toggle it will be check it will be add all and it will be remove all now let's add event listener to this add button and see if it's working or not so on the click we want to execute this function and we want to add class to this div element so it will be hello dot class list add and we'll add bg class great now just save it go to browser click on the add and we got a class let's add a event listener to this remove button so simply copy this piece of code paste it here make it remove and also here it will be remove save it go to browser click add click remove so they are working absolutely fine now let's work on this toggle button copy it paste it here make it toggle and change it to toggle save it now go to browser click on toggle it will add the class again when you will click it will remove the class so that's how it actually works i want to show you something open the developer tools and just pay a close attention here you can see this div element got a class of hello but when you will click on this add button you can see this element is flashing and we are getting a class of bg here when i will click on this remove button you can see it is flashing again and the bg class is gone same in case of toggle see bg class is there when you will click again it will go off now let's work on this check button this will give us the info if that class actually exists or not on this div element just copy this piece of code and paste it here and put check now there's a function that is contains so i want to set the inner text of this div element hello so select this div and inner text will be equal to written value of contains let's make it contains and it will return true or false so inner text will be true or false save it let's click on this check button as of now you can see bg class is not there so when you will click here you'll get false let me click on this add button then click on check i am getting true and also that class is present here if i'll click remove the class is gone and when i will click on this check i'll get false so if you want to verify if that element contains that class or not you can make use of this contains function now let's add event listener to these two buttons and i will wrap it very quickly so just copy these two paste here make it add all make it remove all so whenever you want to add multiple classes just separate them by comma and here i'll add bd class same goes here bd save it go to browser click on add all you can see we are getting this red border and the green background if i click on remove all they are gone let's click on add all so right now it has bd and bg class which you can see here and when i will click on remove it will only remove the bg class see so that border is still there if you want to remove all the classes 
just click on remove all it will not remove this hello class because we have not included it here if i'll include it here let's make it hello save it go to browser now when i will click on remove all you can see that class is also gone i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day